Did you guys know that Mary Lou was <laughs> fired not once but twice? On a reality show, that is. Yeah. <laughs> and it hurts me to say this, but Mary Lou, you're fired. And you are a terrific woman. Get the hell out of here. Thank you. All right, sorry, Mary Lou. I was so excited I jumped the gun <laughs> That's okay. on that little okay. clip. But you got to tell us all about your time on Celebrity Apprentice, mainly my man Gary Busey. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Lisa Rinna and I took turns being the Gary, the, the, <laughs> the Gary Busey whisperer. The Gary whisperer. All right, you got to. I, I was, yeah. and then when I switched, switched to the other team. I mean, there we, we'd have to do like a whole show on that craziness. But that was he's a lot of fun. I'm like, all right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you're here all week. I mean, yeah, we could talk about Andy Kaufman. We could talk about Gary Busey. Oh, wow, I want to hear about. <laughs> yes, a lot of them, for sure. Um, well, it's interesting because you, I, I don't know if you had this. Well, you had cameras everywhere, but you were never even allowed to go to the bathroom unless there was a camera like we're waiting outside the door and you were mic'd all the time. And there was this one crazy thing that happened the first time I did the show where I lost a receipt. And I thought, oh, no. So I said to Carol Alt, I said, I can't find the receipt. Pretty soon, like sharks, here come the cameras. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and they start circling you. And I thought, Mary Lou, come on, you got that memory and stuff. So I called the store and I went, Okay, it was 7.03 at night. It was the third cast register from the doorway. There was a girl in a Hawaiian shirt. This was the, and all of a sudden they went, oh yeah, we found the receipt. And then they faxed it to us. And it was like, Phew, and the cameras, dan it, dan it, as they all moved away. Wow. No privacy whatsoever. But I had a blast on that show. It was crazy. You find out who you are. Wouldn't you say that about doing a reality Absolutely, show? Absolutely, yeah. You find out what you're good at. You find out who's going to like. I mean, but the first one we did was 21 days, and there was only one day off for the New York Marathon. So people were dropping like flies. I, I could see that. It was crazy. Let me ask you what I'm sure everybody, it's on everyone's mind. What was Donald Trump like off the cameras? Uh, this is what I got almost every day. Mary Lou. If I took you to Vegas, could you count the cards? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so what it is a yeah, fair question. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Could you do that? Could you? <laughs> Maybe. Ooh. We're going to Vegas. I know. <laughs> I was like, okay. My next week will be in Vegas. And then just to follow up really quick, because we have a lot of our viewers writing in, apparently uh, Elon Musk, it was just announced that he would reverse Twitter's ban on Donald Trump. What do you feel about that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. No, okay, that's enough. please. Got that's it. enough. Okay. That's, that's enough. a lot. Well, you no. know, it's you know, what's the deal with the pros and like how do they act? Oh, you mean on Dancing with the Stars? Yes, on Dancing okay, with the Stars. Yeah. I'm sorry. So that it was, was a that completely we just switched. different yes. experience. But they were both really hard. <laughs> I was One actually reading the question like, what does that mean? <laughs> I should have. That was my fault. Sorry, producers. Yeah. Um, totally different. Totally, totally different. One is exhausting. They're both exhausting physically. I lost like, I mean, I used, used, like, I'm 120 pounds, always between 117, 122. I got down to 110, 111 in like a short period of time because it was like so physical. And, you know, it, it was like mentally challenging. They both were, you know, I grew up in a dancing school. So, oh, okay. I'll tell you something. I sing a song in my club act because I do a show and I do a whole tribute to Dancing with the Stars to the Candor and Ebb song called Pain. You know, why don't they mention the pain? And you'll see some pictures. I think I gave them some photographs because I started taking pictures of all the different bruises and everything. And I sing a line that's like uh, my, oh. Oh, okay. graphic, graphic content. Wow. These were taken oh, in while I was Mary doing the It was like triage. You know, wow. it was crazy. People's ribs were taped. Oh, you had all, oh, they didn't even show you the bad ones. Those are Derek Huff's fingerprints. Was it worth yeah. it? It was worth it. It was worth it because I like things to challenge myself. Bad behavior fascinates me in people, so I always like to understand the pathology of people and work with them and stuff like that. Before, so it was worth it. Before we go, I, I, we need to hear more about your show really quick. Okay, I'm doing it in five different places over the next month and a half, and uh, so I hope people come and see it. I'm doing it at 54 Below, I'm doing it at Fire Island over Memorial Weekend, and I'm also doing it on um, at Feinstein's at Vitello's yes. in Los Angeles. And it's so, so much awesome. fun. Oh. Production numbers, great dancers, really fun. That I is love it. so cool. Make sure that you guys check that out.